Hello there, original travelers. Welcome to another video of ours. In this one, we will show you some great places for food in Cork in Ireland. Stay until the end for our bonus tip. Cheers, everyone. Cork is a paradise for foodies and absolutely worth exploring. You can find many award-winning restaurants, unique food concepts and amazing street food here. Coming up are our favorites, but we didn't even scratch the surface of Cork's food scene. Which other restaurants do you recommend? Tell us in the comments below. Stay until the end to find out which of the featured restaurants was recently named the second best restaurant in Ireland. First things first, let's go for brunch. Proby's Kitchen is located just a few steps outside of the city center on Proby's Key. They are open daily from 8 am to 3.30 pm, serving breakfast, lunch and brunch on the weekends. The focus in Proby's is on offering a compact but high quality selection including many vegetarian and vegan options. We started with two chai lattes and I ordered the breakfast pup. For any of you who are as confused by the word pup as we were, it is a type of sandwich bread that is typical for Ireland. Simona went for the Harissa eggs on sourdough toast. They also have a selection of tasty looking sweets, but we sadly had to leave some space in our bellies for the next places. Sometimes it's hard to be a foodie. All right, guys, so this is a video obviously about the culinary scene here in Cork. There is a lot of cool things uh, that you can check out uh, food-wise. Not only the English market that is just behind us, so it's, if it's your first time here in Cork, you should definitely check this out. But there are many other great places for food that you will see in this video. For example, the Marina Market, where you can also enjoy really a great variety of food. But also, generally, we were very surprised about um, the fact that Cork is really a foodie city. You have an amazing scene and really, really good, uh, good dishes. Um, a lot of fish, of course, but not only. So, yeah, it's a great place to explore food. But one thing we have to mention, if you're here, you like good food, maybe ask for like half portions, because generally uh, portions here are really, really big. big. Like <laughs> even we think that in Switzerland portions are quite big, but here they're even bigger. So sometimes you order a side dish and you will see this in the video when we're in the Marina Market, it will be bigger than a main dish in Switzerland <laughs> or like in, in most countries in Europe. So maybe just ask how big the portions are. People are usually really friendly and really open about what you should order and give your recommendation so yeah do that and uh, check out the food here in Cork cheers everyone we already featured the elbow lane in our beer in Cork video if you haven't seen it yet head to the description box below to find the link and while you're there the subscribe button is also not so far away the elbow lane is a brew and smokehouse so they offer two of Sandra's favorite things in life, in-house brewed beer and barbecue. They are known for their creativity. So even though you can just come for a steak, we recommend you to try their small plates and sides as well. We had smoked beetroot, smoked harissa lamb sausage, charred broccoli and the wood grilled ribeye steak with Cascade butter. Our beer geek viewers are probably familiar with the name Cascade and no, it's not a coincidence. The head chef and the head brewer love to develop the recipes together here and this is how they came up with this butter which is made with Cascade hops and it gives the steak a hint of grassy bitterness. Fish and chips is a must if you're in Ireland and it is a great option if you need something quick for the way. But Eco Fish isn't your typical fish and chips place. I think it's fair to say that it's probably the best fish and chips place we've ever been to. Next to traditional fish and chips, they also have a contemporary menu, a street food menu and smash burgers. We went for the fish spice box with sweet chili mayo and chilies and the swordfish steak. 
All right, guys, we just arrived in our hotel here in Cork. Um, it's actually the day before St. Paddy's Day. Uh, the thing here is that a lot of the locals especially already start celebrating the day before, and especially this year because St. Paddy's Day is actually on a Sunday. Uh, the party already starts on the Saturday. Um, because of this, a lot of places are full and we also didn't want to lose a lot of time. So we actually decided to get some food from a takeaway place. And this is the Eco Fish. Um, they actually don't make only the regular kind of fish and chips. They also make a little bit of fancier dishes. For example, you can have a swordfish steak or you can have um, pulpo, octopus or like calamari and a lot of cool things. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, we didn't open the bags yet. So uh, you guys get the first glimpse of uh, what is expecting us for food. And I would say it looks really, really nice. And we're looking forward to try it now. Remember, the portions here are huge. So either share or, pro tip from original travels, keep some fries for later. You'll be happy to have them after a long night in the pub. You're welcome. So, we had heard that the marina market was good, but this guy's speedy entry was even more promising. You'll find over 35 different full-time food vendors, vintage clothing and other fun stuff at the market. It's a tough choice to make when the options for food are so many. We decided to go for Korean barbecue. In case you guys didn't know, we love all types of Asian inspired food. You should click the linked video and see our Montreal food adventure. Hana Korean offers Korean inspired tacos. We went for the bulgogi beef and we also ordered a side of Korean corn cheese. The food was amazing, but we were once again surprised by the portion sizes. The side dish alone was big enough to feed at least four original travelers, even without the tacos. Alright guys, we are now at the uh, Marina Market. This is a shared seating uh, food market, not only food market, but uh, mainly food market just a bit outside of the city center of Cork. Uh, you can walk here, it takes you about 20 to 30 minutes, depends on where in the city center you are or how fast you walk. Uh, you can also take a bus here. Uh, you'll find the uh, online type tables for this as well. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool place to check out. So what can you find here, Simona? You can find any type of food from vegan to Argentinian barbecue. There is also a very nice farmer's market. So everything for your regular foodie. And yeah, they also have uh, a graffiti hall and an event hall, so in their uh, uh, event calendar that you can find online, we will link it below, you can find if there is something going on that you might like. Uh, they are also super dog friendly here, so if you have a furry friend at home that you want to bring here, that is totally okay. And uh, yeah, come here and check the place out. Cheers everyone! One of our highlights was the farm shop, which has an amazing selection of locally produced food, drinks, coffee and cosmetics. Don't miss the chocolates from Bean and Booze or the hot sauces from Mixed Chili or Hot Honey from Tongue Tight. Next on our list is the Spit Jack. The concept here is easy to explain. 
it's all about bringing people together over delicious rotisserie style cooking. The interior is really warm and cozy and during our visit also pretty green. You might have guessed it, we were here on St. Patty's Day and to celebrate that day Simona ordered a flight of three whiskies from Ireland. And I also celebrated. Can you guess which drink I had? Of course it was beer. The Red Ale by Rye River was an absolutely perfect pairing for the food. Talking about the food, Sandro ordered the duck leg and I had their signature dish. 48 hours seasoned and 3 hours roasted pork belly porchetta. Made with locally sourced ingredients, each bite is a taste of Cork's culinary heritage. Did we mention portion sizes in this video before? Anyway, we still managed to have space for an amazing apple tartatan. If you're looking for a place where good food and good drinks come together in perfect harmony, Spitjack Brasserie is the place to be. If you're looking for a quick breakfast or something you can bring for the way while exploring Ireland, you should visit Cameron Bakery. They offer everything from sandwiches to amazing French eclair. We ordered a sausage roll and a spinach and goat cheese croissant before making our way to the Ring of Kerry. You can learn more about this scenic part of Ireland in the linked video. So grab yourself some snacks at Cameron and start your adventure! Are you also a fan of Asian-inspired street food? If so, you have to check out Koto. This hidden gem is located in the heart of Cork City's Kerry's Lane. Whether you're craving a pad thai or teriyaki duck, Koto has got you covered with their unique twist on these dishes. Their cocktail menu is amazing and they even offer two types of beer from a local brewery, 8 Degrees Brewing Company. Simona loves fish, so she went for the salmon sanuk and she wasn't disappointed. This spicy salmon is served on fried rice. And I ordered... Boom! If you think this is a weird name for a dish, then let me tell you that it fits perfectly. These fried rice noodles with slow cooked beef have a great spice level that even satisfied our hot sauce aficionado Sandro. If there is one place you absolutely shouldn't miss as a foodie in Cork, it's Goldie. Run by the same owners as Abel Lane and also serving their beer, this seafood place is not just a restaurant, it's an experience. Their menu features small plates, sides and main dishes which can be ordered to share like tapas or in a classic menu order. The staff is incredibly friendly and every dish they serve will be explained to you. Everything we tried here was mind-blowing. The potato and sauerkraut rösti with samjang was probably the best version of this dish we've ever tried. And we live in the home country of rösti. Sorry Switzerland, Cork is now king of rösti. And Austria should also be careful as the Hague schnitzel is also a strong candidate for the schnitzel throne. The concept of Goldie is simple but delicious and the open kitchen is a big plus, as you can see how passionate the chefs are about making every plate look perfect. The menu here changes regularly, but you might be lucky to find the Velvet Cloud Sheep Yogurt dessert on it, which you won't regret leaving space for. Now we know why this restaurant was named the second best restaurant in Ireland 
by the McKenna's Guide. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video from Cork in Ireland. And now guys, you know we put a lot of effort in these videos, so if you would leave us a subscription below, this would be really great, so we could continue doing these cool videos for you. Cheers everyone! Our bonus tip for food in Cork is the Man Friday Deli. This deli offers great sandwiches, sausage rolls and coffee. It's also the little sister of the Man Friday restaurant in Kinsale. Subscribe to our channel to find out more about this place in future videos.